After settling for a couple of draws away from home, Atlanta United returned back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium to take on a Chicago Fire team that are looking for their first win. With Brad Guzan being sidelined, Miles Robinson will captain this side. Santiago Sosa, important role today to provide cover. Ashijos will captain the side. Look for Suke on that right side. He likes to get forward. Gutierrez slides into that double, double pivot role. with Chicago wearing the parlay kits in the teal and Atlanta United in the black for a moment. This. Almada looking for the diagonal run up the right-hand side. It's put back across, and it falls right to Yakamakis, who blasts it home. It's five straight matches with a goal for Yorjos Yakamakis. Well, Nate, we were just talking about balls over the top, balls over the top, that high line early on that did catch Atlanta offside this time. It doesn't. Brooks Lennon, it looked for a minute that this was going to roll out of play, but Brooks Lennon gets to it. And if you're going to find one guy in the box, one guy, and it's Tiago Almada with the long ball. Enjoy him while he's here. Haile Selassie trying to chip the goalkeeper and uh -huh. it lands on top. I have a clear understanding of what they're trying to do. Shakiri trying to put it in for Kamara, easily gathered in by it's Etienne into the penalty area. Yakimakis drives it back and it's put up over. That's a tough ball by, ball by Purata <laughs> to Gutman there. Shakiri trying to find Mueller. Mueller ball. with the turn. It falls to Kamara and his shot goes wide of the target. Yeah, I don't know. If Kamara was the. And he's 21, chipping it in. And it's turned behind by Dean for a corner. Where he was last year and who was playing in front of him, maybe that would make sense. But for a 19-year-old who's starting in Major League Soccer to preach patience, here's Lennon trying to clip it into the penalty area. Yakamakis bangs the header. 1v1 here against Jonathan Dean. Chips it up. Now Yakamakis has to generate. With that high pressure, they've done it again here. And here's Shakiri. First time ball across. It falls to Kamara. Oh, what a chance. Keeping it. Rosetsu with a pirouette. Now Almada. Almada! And a diving save. Rebound falls to Wiley. Rosetsu. Back to Wiley. Now Sosa. Finally cleared away. That's a good ball. And Haile Selassie's got some space here. Wiley recovers. Suke chips it in, looking for Mueller. Wow. Well, and he found him, but Mueller popped it over the ball. Yeah. Jimenez. Kamara nods it down. Haile Selassie. Oh, what a chance. Oh, it was sitting right near the penalty spot, and he pushed the shot wide. Yeah, and this one, this is, this is a half volley. Chicago have got to make some hay out of some of these takeaways. Here's a header by Haile Selassie that does not threaten the goal. Shot goes over the bar, and it will be a goal kick. We're in the 90th minute now. now. Here's a giveaway by Atlanta, and it's Shabilko with a chance to equalize. Denied by Dia. Still Chicago alive. This time, Shabilko slides it home. Calamitous from Atlanta. And, and it ends up with Gutierrez, who's trailing the play here. And credit to him, instead of shooting with all those bodies in front of goal, and we talked about the creativity from Gutierrez and the assist here. He pulls it back. Instead, Haile Selassie tried to sneak it past Diop with a diving two-handed save. And there you have corner it. for Atlanta as the fans at Mercedes-Benz come to their feet. Another dangerous one bouncing in the penalty area, and this one is turned home. This is the idea that Gonzalo Pineda had about managing games at the end. But either way, this is going to be an old goal. It's, it comes off of Salazzi's back. It doesn't look like Parata's touch is going to be on goal. There's the final whistle. Atlanta United thought they had conceded the equalizer that would snatch two points away from them in the 90th minute only for them to come back and score in the 99th.